And we start the 10 with the latest on the search for the person who shot and killed a Prince George's County student right across the street from her school. Nana St. Tobonzu is live for us in Lanham with the latest on this investigation. Nana? Jim and Sharin, good evening. Tonight, students at Duval High School are mourning the loss of a classmate. The shooting happened here behind me at the Woodstream community, just steps away from Duval High School, which is on my right. Earlier today, neighbors we spoke with said they were shocked by what happened, especially just feet away from the school. And it was like somebody at Duval got shot. And it was a kid. So I say, so I say, Lord, another shooting. This was the reaction from a former Duval High School parent when she got the call about a shooting across the street from her house. I live right at Forest Lake. Around 345 is when Prince George's County Police got the call about shots fired. They say a student was walking on Palomar Drive from school. There was a dispute between two groups. During this dispute, a gun was uh, shot and our victim was tragically killed. At the moment, police do not know if the victim was the intended target. Witnesses tell Fox 5 there was a soccer game going on at the time of the shooting. They don't fight with fists no more. They have to have a gun. One of Terry's children graduated from Duval a couple years ago. She says things have changed. When they go on there, shooting, no. Fight, yes. Newly appointed Superintendent Millard House II shared a few words about the victim who has not been identified yet. She was a dedicated student, a beloved daughter, cherished friend, and a source of inspiration for many. This is frustrating. This is mind-boggling to see one of our precious students go through a, this senseless act of violence. It brings tears to my eyes. That hurt. Imagine you home and hear your child died. A community definitely hurting tonight. Now, school leaders say tomorrow when students come to school, they will see mental health counselors as well as enhanced security. Guys.